Hello and welcome to another how-to video installing the uh, home applications on your jailbroke PS3. Uh, today we're going to put on Mendefen, which is a um, emulator for the Game Gear, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, and the NES. So what you want to do is well, as you can see, I've put it on. I put my laptop onto the big screen because my last video for the FBA and Next emulator was a bit blurry, and that was because it was on the laptop. If you look at the laptop, see you can hardly see the letters properly. Now on the big screen, if I go close in, you can see them perfectly. All right. So, okay. First thing we're going to do is I've minimised a couple of uh, applications at the bottom of the window down by this start thing here hang on, I'm going blurry again so you can't see nothing as you can see I've minimised PS3 hacks on the internet and a removable flash disk USB, USB stick as you know in past videos that PS3 hacks is my favourite site to go from they have a lot of um, applications and stuff like that that you can you know, download to try on your <coughs> jailboat PS3, which I think is quite handy. And there is other sites, but I mean, PS3 Hacks is a, a reputable one, and you know that nothing is going to be, you know, given to you with a virus on it or something that's going to jar up your uh, PlayStation. Although I have two, <laughs> but you know, one's for online and one's for um, jailbreak homebrew. Even though Sony have apparently released. A uh, thing where you can actually wind back the um, firmware if you send off something to the distributor or something they'll send you a code or something and a thing that you can wind back your your firmware which is a bit of a gutter now that I've got two but never mind it doesn't matter um, so what we'll start with is we shall start with uh, removable flash disk once again and there's the page empty what you want to do really is hang on, let's close that down. Go to start. Right, start. My computer. And then on the removable flash disk there. Right click. Down to format. And it's already on. Fat32 is what it has to be on so the PlayStation can read it. It's already on that. And then you just click quick format, just tick the box, press start. It says warning format will erase everything. Yes, yeah, it's empty anyway, so yes. And then, yeah, there you go, format complete. OK, close that off. OK, and we double click on that. And then Minimize. Okay, so then down to the other window where you've done your search engine and you put in PS3 hacks, brings it up. And as before, what we're going to do is we're going to go to downloads, which is here. Click on that. Go to all downloads in red. Click on that. And then we scroll down to emulators now as you can see here this is the one you want Mednafen multi-system emulator R62 and it tells you at the bottom emulates the NES Game Boy Game Boy Advance Game Boy Color Sega Master System and Game Gear okay so click on that Hit the download button. Read the, 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 you know, the description if you want to. Hit the download button. It comes down here, and then let it load on. As it downloads, and it depends on what. Um, also, what sort of. Um, Extractor, you've got like file extractor, you know, like an unzipping thing or whatever. You know, it depends on which we've got. I've got WinZip, but it's a trial, it's a free trial that lasts for 
about a month or something like that. So once it says, oh, you know, you can't use it anymore, just re just you know, uninstall it from your computer and re-download it again. It gives you another month for free. <laughs> so there it is. There, finished. I mean, you can use you know Express Zip and stuff, which I have done in the past, which is a good one. Let's click on that. And it, see, there you go. It says, look, thank you for trying. Wins it. You can buy it now. It says, or use the valuation version. Sometimes the boxes change around to confuse you. But you know, click that one. Use the valuation version. And there it is. There, let's see. So just highlight that. There. And then there's a thing up here. It says extract. See that? Extract. There. Click on that. And then it'll ask you what where you want it to go in a file. So you just click downloads. I like downloads but I have see that's all my stuff's downloaded into it. Hit download. Click extract there. And it pulls it out and it'll be highlighted. This is I mean, this is all the stuff that I've extracted, see? So there it is, highlighted, yeah? Right next to the FBA next one, the old one there, see? So there it is, Mednafen. Alright? And then what you do is you click on that and drag it down to your removable disk window. It changes the screen to blank. Get it up in the middle there and just drop it in. And then it goes plop. Straight in to that there. And come down to the bottom of the screen where your little icon is here. So there's remove mass storage device. Click on that, and it says save to remove hardware, click on that, and then you just pull it out, turn on your jailbreak PS3 with your jailbreak dongle here, obviously, and then go to install package files, press triangle, to highlight install package files, press triangle, then hit X, and it says install all, X again, and then just install it and it'll go straight on and then you can just whip this whip this out and then we put it back into the computer like so and then close all this down literally just close everything off just sort of close everything down and then hit start uh, my computer Back to remove a flash disk. Highlight it, press delete, delete it off, and then clear your flash drive complete of anything so it's completely empty. Right? Now remember it's still formatted. What we do is we minimize that. Back to the internet. And as you'll see in a second, on my favourites, there, top left, is free ROMs. Okay, so we hit that. And then obviously you've got your choice then. So you've got your choice of Game Gear, which is there, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, NES, and then Sega Master System here, see? Alright, so just basically just click on say Sega Sega Master System. And then it gives you the you know the games here, see? And then it's just say so let's click on one, let's click on I don't know, uh, 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 say what, Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles, US, that. and then here is the download button there, it's so Sonic and Knuckles, hit the download button, and then it goes boom, in the bottom there. And then we do the same again, basically we click on that once it's done, see that now it's swapped around, see it's on the other side now, right. There, click use evaluation. I like the file, extract, downloads, extract, and then there it is. There, let's see. Now it's like this, all right? You just grab it, flash it over the top of that, flash disk, minimize bit, drop it in the middle of the screen, and there it is, all right? There, and then obviously, same again. Down to the button there, safely remove, <coughs> safe to remove, yes, and that's it.
pull it out, plug it into your PS3, and just go to Mednafen and then hit X, and it, the list of ROMs will come up on the front page anyway. So you just scroll down and just select what you want to do, and that's it. Okay? Thanks, guys.